Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Thursday, November 14th, 2018, and I'm Riley Pruitt. Today's top stories include Tarleton fraternities giving back to the community, curriculum in Texas public schools, and wildfire in California. In campus news, student in campus news, student-run radio station KXTR 100.7 The Planet is hosting a concert tomorrow afternoon in Heritage Park featuring Rowdy Decker, Alan Lyles, Dudley Azure, and Ted Season. Students attending the family-friendly event will be automatically entered in to win ASAP, Rocky, and Panic at the Disco tickets. The event from 2 to 6.30 p.m. giving students is from 2 to 6.30 p.m. giving students the time to head back over to the Texan debate. This year's Texan debate will be over the legalization of marijuana. The debate starts at 7 p.m. in the Clyde H. Wells Fine Arts Center. In local news, from the Stephenville Empire Tribune, the Alpha Gamma Rho chapter at Tarleton State University and the Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life are again sponsoring their annual Angel Tree. Each year, they reach out to children in low-income areas in Stephenville, Dublin, DeLeon, and Gorman. Alpha Gamma Rho greatly appreciates the opportunity to be a part of the Angel Tree, said Shelby Brownson, the AGR member in charge of the event. Brownson stated, it helps us give back to the community that has so graciously welcomed us. Most of all, we are thankful for the number of people who adopt an angel and donate. Tarleton students, faculty, and staff are invited to adopt angels and help to ensure that these children have a great Christmas. The tree will be placed in the Office of Fraternity and Sorority Life in Centennial Hall by November 16th. Gifts are due by noon, December 12th. And now, today's Texas news from the Texas Tribune. The Texas Board of Education voted to reinstate significant women figures in Texas history and social studies curriculum. In a 12-2 vote, the board voted to reinstate Hillary Clinton as part of the high school history curriculum. This decision was made only two months after the board decided to remove her from the curriculum. Board member Republican Marty Rowley said that he doesn't agree with her politics, but does believe that she is significant. Also reinstated in the curriculum was references to Helen Keller and women serving as Air Force pilots in World War II. The consideration of curriculum changes occurred after concerns from teachers that there was too much curriculum to cover during the school year. The board listened to opinions of students, teachers, and curriculum experts as they made their decision. Final approval for curriculum is expected on Friday, November 16th. And now, for national news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Authorities in Northern California are looking for more victims from the state's deadliest wildfire ever. At least 48 people are known dead in the fire that swept through the city of Paradise. Mexican drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman's trial is underway in New York. He pleaded not guilty to charges involving smuggling tons of cocaine. The defense blames another reputed drug lord. Florida's election recount goes to federal court on Wednesday, with Democrats asking to have a state law set aside. The law says mail-in ballots get thrown out if the signatures on the envelope and on file with election authorities don't match. And thousands gathered in Chicago to hear Michelle Obama tell Oprah Winfrey about her new book. The former first lady did not criticize President Trump during the appearance, the first of a 12-stop tour. Mike Hemp in the Associated Press with AP News Minute. According to the Associated Press, dozens of rockets were fired by Gaza militants on Tuesday. These attacks are responsible for killing one man. The fighting in Ghana came after the failed raid by undercover Israelis. This is said to be the most serious escalation since the 2014 israel hamas war. International mediators hope to avert another war by appealing for restraint. In sports, The Flash Today is reporting that Tarleton football program is tied for the record national ranking by moving to number six in the latest AFCA poll. Tarleton just finished an undefeated regular season for the first time in its NCAA history after shutting out Western New Mexico Saturday afternoon. Tarleton will host an NCAA playoff game Saturday at 1 p.m. against Azusa Pacific. 
In basketball, John Hawley has been named the Lone Star Conference Defensive Player of the Week after his performance through the first four games. Hawley has led Tarleton in both scoring and rebounds to open the season. It's Hawley's first career LSC Defensive Player of the Week award and his first season. Now for weather, we turn to Ashley Willits. According to the National Weather Service, today's weather is a low of 31 with a high of 50. It'll be sunny throughout the day and throughout the week it'll warm up to the mid 50s to low 60s, being mostly sunny and sunny throughout the rest of the week and into the weekend. Back to you. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apple G Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by Felicia Colley, Kylie Newman, and Ashley Willits. Have a wonderful day, Texans.